Right, hello everyone, welcome back to Leitstellenspiel.de, um, which is the German version of MissionChief.com. So, we've just signed on shift in which is going to be the first kind of regular video of um, Leitstellenspiel.de. I did do one before, um, but it was kind of like a special because there was a lot of um, stuff going on in it. Um, so this is kind of the humdrum daily life of like Town Spiel. Now I am having a slight problem with my internet in that the scroll wheel isn't working so well which is a pain in the ass. Um, hopefully we can just persevere with it and uh, this video will be fine nonetheless. So we can see there's a lot of emergency vehicles floating around the place so it has been a reasonably busy shift there are a few major incidents that are actually in the process of being ongoing but now we've got a hospital transport so we'll assign one of the patient transport service to come and get the person off to the respective hospital. So unfortunately at the moment, and this is something we're going to need to monitor, um, most of the, mm, pardon me, uh, most of the fire service is tied up in um, in dealing with the two big incidents which is a little bit of a pain. Um, so it means we don't have a great deal in terms of the fire service and I think so we've got one of them that's awaiting some resources and one of them that is currently being resolved and that one has seven minutes to go so we've probably got about 20 minutes where the the fire service is going to be quite limited so we've um, we've turned the wick up somewhat on the calls and yet we're, we're really still kind of waiting to see anything come through. Which I guess is fair enough. So the status of the hospitals. The hospitals are quite full. <laughs> ah, this is, this is a problem. In fact, they're so full, I might, while we're quiet, just consider... Oh no, there's a hospital transport, so I'm going to need to go to the building view. We we might use some of our money, which we're just kind of holding on to at the moment, um, to get some more space at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, which is here. There we go, it took us a bit of an age to find. Okay. Because okay. we could, we, do, we could, oh no, 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 no. Um, so again, with the, because this is a German version, we do have to kind of put up with the fact that everything is in German. This is something we might buy, actually. So we may as well as actually do some upgrading of the hospital facility. Anyway, the level that we wanted. So we'll go start grabbing some of these for some extra hospital beds. I think that'll do just now. I don't, I don't want to use all too many. Um, another hospital transport's coming, so we'll get them ready to, to go. So we'll get blue light. Well, BLS does not stand for blue light. It stands for basic life support. Um, so we're going to get them... Somebody sent out. Who's it that's coming? Preston Pan's BLS vehicle. Um, that's fine. So because of the two major incidents, our prime movers are pretty well tied up. So there's actually nobody pro to provide um, an environmental protection pod to this incident here, which means it's kind of going to get stuck in backlog at the moment. Um, and we're still waiting for it to go. Oh, we've got an unwell person. Where are they? Aha, so they're in Glasgow. Okay, uh, right, so police and an ambulance will need to get sent out to this, so this will probably be um, one coming from Glasgow East Station, which I think is the only, well, London Road Police Station, which is the only Glasgow Police Station I have, and then one of the ambulances that was heading back to base is now going to get diverted through Shettleston and Parkhead to Dalmarnock for this unresponsive person 
And so far, that's the first call that we've had. So yeah, the biggest the biggest problem about uh, doing this series of videos is the fact that we really have to put up with my particularly terrible internet, and it is very very terrible internet. Um, so yeah, great. Um, all right. So how long have we got in the chemical tank? Three minutes. Actually, for that matter, where is this? And where is this? Okay, this one's at Falkirk. So what we're going to do, just in preparation for everything that's going on, we're going to get... Oh, no, actually, I can't. Because I don't know which pod belongs to which of the prime mover, because there's at least two prime movers on scene. It could be as high as three. In fact, it, it quite likely is as high as three. Okay, so as you can see, um, the environmental protection pods are kind of what we're missing the most of here. Ah, oh. so Muscle Bro, there's a kitchen fire. Mm, okay, so let us mobilize two pumps. So Muscle Bro and Crew Toll, which apparently is nearby for some reason. Um, we're going to get them deployed out to the scene here. So Kruto was on oh, Muscle Bro's heading back to base. And Kruto has come off of the Gilmerton Road. I think it was just trying to join back onto the bypass. So it's now been diverted up towards the uh, kitchen fire, which takes place in Looks like a little side street in Musselburgh, next to the seaside. Um, okay, we've got two others to get somebody to one of these, so that's not really important. However, we do need a hospital transport, so we'll get one of the BLS vehicles available. Seeing, pardon me, uh, seeing as there's not really all that much else they can do in game. Um, Okay, so everything everything at the moment is really hinging on these two major incidents getting dealt with, which is fine. So we've got the incident support unit coming up from down south. I thought it would be nearer than this. Ah, okay, evidently not. Um, not important. So, um. Looks like we've got yet another hospital transport, so uh, Miller Hill. One more person requiring to go to hospital and we're out of BLS vehicles. We're, we're having a pretty quiet day, so um, we will mobilize one of the ALS vehicles. <laughs> My friends are trying to talk to me. Um, okay, so one of the ELS mo uh, vehicles has been mobilized. And we'll just see where they go, so... I think I know what I'm doing after this video. <laughs> we'll just have to see! Um, um, hmm. Right, okay, so I've just skipped through a bunch of stuff because not really a great deal happened. Uh, two more calls have come in. However, most importantly, the first of the major incidents has finished, as you can see by everybody tick getting ticked off here, uh, which is very good. So, first thing we need to do... Oh, we're still waiting on some of the stuff. Cool, you're in. So we still don't have an environmental protection pod available. Okay, well that's a bit of a kick in the eyes. Um, right, okay. In any case, let's start getting the people here. So we've got um, acute Bausch I don't know what this is. Oh, acute stomach pain. Hmm, I don't strictly know if that's going to be serious enough for a doctor as well. But we'll certainly get the. Oh, I hate, I hate when this happens. Um, right, however, our head injury is pretty important, so we'll now get a doctor and an ambulance to the scene there. Um, okay. 
So, we need a second urban search and rescue vehicle, a high volume pump, one mass decontamination, two dim vehicles, that should be it actually, I think. No, 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 we'll need pumps as well actually. So we'll need hazmat support from McDonald Road and Kruto. So we'll get them down to the scene. And once again, those buttons aren't working because the whole thing is just a pain in the ass on my internet. Ah, crap. What? Oh, what? Uh, high volume pump pod from Falkirk Fire Station. I assume that is the one that they were calling out. Oh, do you know what's probably happened? Let's uh, let's head over to Falkirk for a second. So we've got Falkirk Central Fire Station here. I get the sneaking suspicion that if I go into the Prime Mover and do personnel, so Welsh ladder, Welsh ladder. Okay. Well, I'll hopefully be that. Right, so let's try the high volume pump again. Wait, what? No, how, 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 what, why, why is this all completely the wrong way around? Okay, great, right, okay, so high volume pump pump. Let's, now, let's try this again. Because there is enough people in Falkirk. What? I, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't even, I don't even know what this is. The towing vehicle has no staff, but they do. Oh, do you know what? They're probably deployed in in another in another thing, right? Okay, okay, that, that's a pain. Yes. Right. In that case, let's just try and. So, high volume pump. Mm -hmm. uh, environmental pods not available. Okay, none of the high volume pump pods are available. So, we're just going to have to bite our times through this one. Uh, meanwhile, there are more calls coming in. Okay, so. Fire in a bus. Let's get that dealt with by way of two pumps. I'm just going to click on that. And I'm not actually sure what this is. A damaged roof area. Okay, so we'll get a pump, a height appliance, an officer to supervise things, a police vehicle, and we'll see how we get on with that. I can't imagine it should require all too much more than that, but well, I've been wrong in this game before. <laughs> and so they're all heading out, and I think that's going to be everything for just now. So here we can see um, Gal Shield's heavy rescue unit um, making its way up to the chemical tank. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the hospital transport side of things are going. No, it really just is a case of waiting for the environmental protections and such all to arrive. High volume pump, high volume pump. Ooh, ooh. So Falkirk's high volume. Oh no, of course, of course. So it's still not going to have the peoples. So who is it that's got. Because this, this could... Right, i tell you what we're going to do. Let's back alarm you. So, Falkirk Retained is going to back alarm. And Falkirk Primary... Ah, yes, Falkirk... Yeah, which is, so here. You're going to back alarm. And there is a method in the madness here, so let's just zoom on in. Okay, so the idea is that because they're pretty close to the station, we're going to get them to back alarm into their base 
so that we can get the high volume pump to the seam here because that's pretty much the last thing that we're waiting on because we don't require so yeah ba basically that's that's going to be the, the, the best way of doing this so as soon as they get parked up i'm not actually sure which one's got the uh, the people on them so the falkirk fire station is a hybrid fire station it has two primary pumps as well as other um specialist vehicles one is full time one is actually retained so the kind of response times between the pumps can be a little bit different at times um but they're all home almost right okay there we go so this now means that we should be able to get the high volume pump and two fire engines going. Let's just see. Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, great. So, um, it's now going to take a while for them to restore themselves, but the correct people are now in the prime mover so it can um, secure and unsecure its high volume pump pod and it's going to drop it at the scene of the major which is down here um, got two more injured people coming in so where where is this so there's an injured person in Trinent which is a bit of a problem Beetlewoss person that's unwell I'm sure oh it's unconscious okay well we'll send an well we don't have a, we don't actually have a close RRV but we'll send an RRV and if not then we can if they're not needed, they'll back alarm automatically. And another head injury. Uh, I'm not sure the difference between. I think I think this is head injury as opposed to like a, a the other one, which is a. Uh, ooh. Um, so this is a road traffic collision. No reported injuries. So we'll leave it with just a single police car going to it for the moment, and then they could advise us if other people are required so while this is going on we've actually acquired two more hospital transports and unfortunately no one else is available we've still got quite a lot of ambulances available so let's um well i guess we can just um steal a couple of those for just now right okay Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got two incidents which we can't begin to deal with at the moment. Just because there's not enough people. So this, yeah. So we, we can see we can see a lot of the people heading back to base. Fire investigation units heading over, as are quite a few people on the bypass. So this is basically the train of people uh, which is going to Falkirk for the emergency, which is good, so it's not all that long to go. Actually, it's kind of appropriate because um, just this week there was, in fact, a, a leak in a gas tank um, here in Grangemouth, which uh, caused a big evacuation of people, which was, well, not a great deal of fun. Um, okay, a person... Okay. Um... Alright, let's get them going. So we'll go to the Royal Infirmary for them. And then we need one more fire engine to deal with the damage roofing material, which is fine. And then we've got another person who isn't very well, unconscious. So we'll grab a doctor to them as well, just in case it does happen to be something particularly serious. And we're still waiting on this. So let's just take a little bit of an inventory of who has the environmental pod. So Kruto has environmental protection and it's taking one of the decontamination pods to Falkirk, so that's that one ruled out, and who's got the others? So the other one will be um, Clyde's Mill. So it does have an environmental protection. Po oh, and it's 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 already at the leak, the chemical. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. 
so it's just gonna take a little while for everything to get there. Um, we had something else to do with that. So we've got another. So our one of our skull injuries has to go to hospital. Um, now actually, the closest hospital is St John's, but it doesn't actually have any free places available. So I have to divert it to the Western General, and we'll get them on going. Okay, good, good, good. Right, fine. So um. I'm just checking the episode length here, that's fine. Now I have no idea what this is. Birdsome. Ooh, a spine injury. That definitely requires a doctor. So we'll grab one ALS and one doctor. Where is it? It's in Linlithgow. And I don't think we've got an ambulance station modelled near Linlithgow. There is one in real life, um, but I don't think we have it modelled. So. Uh, it might take some time for something to get there, so let's just... Oh no, we must! Because we, we've got one let's go ambulance station. I didn't think we did, but apparently we do. Excellent. Um, okay. So... Those are waiting on police, those are waiting on police. Oh, oh. okay. New, new cranking transport has just come in. So we've got one of the patient transport vehicles available for that, so we'll now get that all mopped up and ready to go. God, this is horrible. My internet's been doing this for weeks, where you click on something and it just doesn't happen. Um, okay, no biggie. No biggie. Um... So yeah, basically, as we discussed, every environmental pod has... In fact, actually, hang on. Uh, oh no, 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 no. So, yeah, Clyde's Mill only has one environmental protection pod, and it is in Falkirk. And uh, Kruto has a environmental protection pod, but only one prime mover. So it's stuck at base while it takes mass decontamination up to Falkirk, which is fine and dandy. So I think everything's going to be arriving within the next, yeah, kind of five minutes or so. All we actually need here, yeah, okay, so yeah, we need to wait quite for a bit actually. Um, for the most part, everything else is going on. Somebody's just come off their motorbike. I'm not actually sure where. So let's just have a little gander. Um, right, fall off motorbike in Sinclair Way, which is basically in Livingston, which is fine. Um, reasonably easy place to keep people. So unfortunately, since one of the updates is, it's, uh, it's quite hard to see um, what's going on because of the, the way that they do the tags now. They're not very neat. You need to be zoomed in quite far in order to be able to make heads or tails of everything that is going on. Okay. <laughs> right. Seeing as we're still pretty quiet. Oh, actually, hang on. One of the one of the police have a prisoner to take somewhere. Um, we do need to get some police cells developed. But in the meantime, let's start getting a couple of police vehicles to here. So, two to there. And two to here. Excellent. So that will bag us a fair, a fair little bit of credits. So unlike the, um, unlike the uh, Mission Chief game, which has really, really long scheduled events, these have quite short ones, which is pretty cool. Um, they don't give you as much money, I suppose. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, I suppose they don't give you quite as much money, but hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got two people that need to get taken off the hospital. Um, Preston Pan's vehicle can head into the Royal Infirmary. And... Um, nobody has the right skill set here, but as the closest the Royal Infirmary will do... Okay, okay, okay... Hmm. So everyone's only got a couple more minutes before they arrive on scene, which is... Well, fine by me, fine by me. Um, I think a new call just came in. 
So this looks like it is flooding of a town square. Oh, it's a crap water pipe. That was close. So we'll grab a couple of pumps. Maybe a couple of police to make sure that the road gets adequately cordoned off. Um, perfect. Okay. And I'm just going to take a little refresh because it says that people haven't been sent out. So, again, this can be quite a recurring um, problem because I've got such really poor internet here. Oh, no. No, no. That's something new. I, have, I, don't know why I, I don't know why I thought it wasn't. Right. Um, so, something, something, something zung. This is a spinal injury. Yes, we remember this one now. So, we'll get a doctor and a regular paramedic to come to the scene. Just to make sure we're not going to cause any significant damage to this person, so... How are we doing the leaky in the chemical tanky? So fire investigation have just about arrived on scene and then the whole load from Edinburgh, so... The hazmat support fire pumps, so... When I say fire pumps, it's not actually a vehicle designed for hazmat pumps, but the crew is hazmat trained. Um, so they... That's basically what the AHS stands for. Okay, how we doing, how we doing, how we doing? Okay, well that one's actually now being dealt with. <laughs> oh my god, I am so tired. Hmm. Okay. Well then, these guys are just about to arrive on the scene of the leaky chemical tank in Grangemouth. So I think this is probably, probably, probably a good enough time to say thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, the first of what's going to become like a, a just a normal episode of um, Lights Down Spiel. Um, dot de. I'm not amazingly sure if I'm going to go back to Mission Chief because even in my own time when I'm not filming, I really rarely do um, any content work for. Oh, sorry, I really don't, I, I don't really do very much playing of Mission Chief anymore because this, the game is so basic and unenjoyable when compared to this. Um, so yes, you'll definitely be seeing this in the future. You may or may not see Mission Chief in the future. We'll just have to see how I'm feeling in time. But anyway, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!